My name is Brittany Edwards. Today I'm going to talk to you about an African culture known as Bambara. I'm going to talk about the location, language, beliefs, and the daily lives. There are many significant things about the African culture tribe Bambara and their culture. They are located in Mali, Africa. And according to theafricaguide.com, Bambara is one of the largest, most dominant groups in Mali. They speak Bamana, which is spoken all throughout Mali. According to omniglot.com, the alphabet is a mixture of Latin and Arabic language. Bambara evolved from two kingdoms which were overthrown by Muslims. They are 70% Muslim today. However, they stick to their tradition of their ancestors. According to AfricaGuide.com, the ancestors took place as vegetables or animals during the ceremonies held to worship the spirits. And the offerings that were brought are flour and water. The oldest member of the tribe acted as a mediator between the living and the dead. Chiwara is another belief that they have. It is a half man, half animal. According to BambaraNoam.org, Chiwara is known for turning wild grass into grain. Farmers created an art and dance to recall Chiwara and his powers of nature. The art that was made is a headdress from an antelope, which is made for the occasion. According to BambaraNoam.org, the headdress gives a, a visual form of the relief of, fer of the belief of fertility and growth. The headdress is worn with the clothes that are made up of long grasses that is used during this dance. The dance takes place at the beginning of the agriculture season in order to have a good harvest. It is done bent over in order to not offend Chihuahua. The moves throughout the dance are the moves of an antelope, such as sudden leaps, jumps, and quick turns. Chihuahua has three different styles depending upon the village's geographic location. They have statues, which is another belief they have, which is only made up of sacred wood according to AfricanArt.net. The most famous statues are the statues of women. According to AfricanArt.net, the statues of women have large breasts and enhanced facial features. This promotes a harmonious relationship. Speaking of relationship, marriage is a significant and expensive thing, but is also considered to be an investment, according to AfricaGuide.com. All adults are married, even the widows have suitors. The reasons to get married, according to AfricaGuide.com, is because a wife raises a man's status, along with to have kids. The most important thing about having kids is to keep the family lineage going and to help out on the farms. The average number of kids to have is eight, which is, means a big family, which moves me to my next point of housing. It is made up of family units, which is either the family lineage or extended family. A house dwelling can sleep up to 60 or more people and the Bambara housing is larger than the rest of West Africa. And depending on what village you live in, whether it's Muslim or non-Muslim, the villages, the school, school will be attended by the kids. Farming is a daily, is a way of living for Bambara. They grow a main crop, which is known as millet. They also have family farming, which is where they grow maize, cassava, tobacco, and other vegetables. They also raise their own animals such as chickens, goats, cows, horses, and sheep. They hunt food, animals and non-animals in order to survive. They hunt ostrich, boar, guinea fowl, antelope, and then they also go on a hunt for wild honey. Now that I have informed you about the culture of Bambara with their daily lives, language, beliefs, and dates and everything else, I can answer any questions you may have.